I became a paramedic for one reason. This is like a one in route. It was for the excitement. My name is Aaron Moses. I'm the owner of Delano Ambulance Service in Delano, California. A lot of violence in this town, a lot of theft in this town, which keeps this company moving. You hear code blue, your heart's going to be skipping all the way to the call. It's dangerous, but it's what we like. It's what we sign up for. Being an owner of an ambulance company is the greatest thing in the world. I think it puts us in a unique situation to have a boss like Aaron. He's a pretty badass paramedic from what I've seen. He knows his stuff. So he knows what paramedics need to do their job well. In each ambulance, it's staffed with one paramedic and one EMT. I'm the boss. This is my bitch. For lack of better words, that pretty much is how it goes. The paramedic is pretty much responsible for anything it is with the patient. The EMT has all his given duties to do with operating the ambulance. I do not want to run out of gas. I always top off. This is my other family. I, I spend half the time with my family at home. I spend the other half of my time with my family here. Just making a little lunch in between saving lives. What? <laughs> you have to be able to talk and, and BS with each other and have fun. Hey! You have to be able to alleviate the stress. Whatever your coping method is, you have to figure it out because it will eat you alive. Our downtime is our time to let our brain relax, let our bodies relax, and then prepare for the next. Because you never know what's going to happen. Delaney Ambulance, Bridge Emergency. Okay, are they breathing? They have 90 seconds to get to an ambulance. Traumatic injury, patient's not alert. We only have eight minutes to get to the call from the time that they called 911. So we're always racing to get there. The responsibility of being a paramedic is pretty big. You have people's lives in your hands on a daily basis. So it could be a rollover, could be a high speed. If a patient doesn't get to a surgical table within one hour, their chances of survival decrease significantly. We have a tough job, but somebody does have to do it. I'm not too sure what kind of patient we're seeing, but for all we know, respiratory stress. The saddest thing is probably having to deal with children. It's a different amount of drugs to be given. In medicine, it's a whole different species. Your training, your knowledge, it just comes in and you just you do what you have to do. Sometimes they live, sometimes unfortunately they don't live. None of us ever classify ourselves as heroes, even if we save a life or change someone's life for the better. I've been up for 36 hours before running 911 calls and with no sleep. And I just did it. And I didn't mind doing it because I knew that was my job and that's what I signed up for. And they all know that. We all know that when we sign up and we work a 48 hour shift, there may be a chance that you don't sleep that 48 hours. And then you go home and you crash and you get recovered and you come back on the next one and you do it all over again. For me, I'll never walk away from it. <laughs>